So first of all, we get our reed and it comes in its own little protective sheath there. And if you pop it out, as you can see, it's quite thin. And it's got a flat side where the writing is. And on the other side is slightly curved where the thick part is. And if you look at your mouthpiece here, you'll see it's flat on the one side where the hole is. And on the other side, the front part of the mouthpiece, it's nice and curved. So what we want to do is pop the thin end of the reed into our mouth so we can get it wet. This will help it to vibrate when it comes to blowing. And we want to put the flat side where the writing is to the flat side of the mouthpiece. It doesn't go inside the hole, it just goes up against it there. And the thin end, you want to make sure it's at the top flush with the mouthpiece at the top there. Okay, if you use your thumb like so, it just helps to give it that bit of stability there. Then we'll get the ligature, which is a bit like the belt, and it has a, a large hole at one end and a thin hole at the other. And if you're not sure, if you put it on and you notice that the reed ligature doesn't go any further, you just pop it off and pop it over the other side and you'll see that it drops down nicely. And once you're happy with it all lined up, like that, That sometimes you get some writing on the mouthpiece and it just pops in the window there and you can see that that's roughly sort of the, the correct position. Then do it up with the screws. And then that will keep the reed in place when you end up blowing the instrument. When you finished your blowing, or you want to put the clarinet down, anything like that, always make sure the reed cap is on the top. Okay, and it protects the mouth and the reed always. Okay, lovely. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.